and welcome to the 2021-2022 school year. I'd like to take a few minutes to review some people that you'll see around the school that are here to help you and make your time at Rogers Park amazing. I'd also like to go over a couple of protocols so that you have a successful school year. As you already know, myself as the principal am located on the first floor. Mrs. Battaglia, the assistant principal for the sixth grade, is on the second floor, and Mrs. Perez, the assistant principal for the seventh and eighth grade, is on the third floor. The administrative assistants that help us get all our jobs done are Ms. Howe and Ms. Schnepp, who are on the first floor, Ms. Doran, who's on the second floor, and Ms. Sleech, who's on the third floor. You have three awesome school counselors, and they're divided up by clusters. Mr. Farrell is for cluster A, Ms. Abbott is for cluster B, and Mr. McCarley is filling in for Mrs. Duff in cluster C. She'll be back in the second trimester. Some more awesome support staff is Mr. Garofalo on the first floor, and he's one of our two school psychologists. Mrs. Chelso is up on the third floor, and she's our school social worker. And Mr. Feliciano is another one of our school psychologists, and he is up on the third floor as well. We have two important people that are here to keep us all safe. Our school resource officer, Officer Martinez, who is right next to my office, and our safety advocate, Mrs. Gonzalez, who is also near the main office. If you see them in the hallway, be sure to say hello. If you're not feeling well, and you've got a cut, or you need to take some Tylenol, our school nurses are here to help. Mrs. Martino and Ms. Colon are both on the first floor in the nurse's office. Just make sure you have a pass if you need to go to the nurse. In the cafeteria, you'll see many, many helpful people. Two of our key people is Ms. Archieri and Ms. Kathy, and they are here to make sure that your bellies stay full. We have a custodial staff that works both in the day and at night to keep our school clean. The two daytime custodians are Mr. Burns, our head custodian, and Ms. Savio, who you will see running around that cafeteria making sure it stays clean. So please help them keep our school clean by always cleaning up after yourself and throwing any garbage in the garbage can. We're lucky to have a school-based health center here at Rogers Park. We have a nurse practitioner, Ms. Henyon, who can help do many different medical things. We have a professional counselor, Ms. Dillon, and an administrative assistant, Ms. Romero. Make sure you sign up with those bright gold sheets. Now let's talk a little bit about our Rogers Park expectations. Our goal here at Rogers Park is to provide you with a safe school climate. And we do that by building relationships and a larger community. Sometimes relationships are damaged. And when that happens, we spend time to repair those relationships and make sure that we don't repeat the same misbehavior. In order to do that, we've created an expectation matrix. You'll see this around the school. And it's predicated on being caring, responsible, and safe. So to be caring, we like to respect each other's personal space and be polite when we're coming in and out of the school. When we're in the cafeteria, we use kind words. We respect each other's opinions and personal space. We wait our turn and we enjoy having new friends sit at our table. In the classroom, we'll listen when someone is speaking and respect each other's opinions and personal space and always use kind words. When we're moving through the building, in the hallway, in the stairwell, we're gonna use an appropriate volume and language. And we'll also respect each other's personal space. If you're needing to use the restroom, please respect each other's privacy and the school property. When you're using technology, the key phrase is don't be mean behind the screen and please use those devices appropriately. When you're on the bus, respect each other's personal space and especially respect the bus driver. They have a very important job to get you to and from school and they shouldn't be distracted. The way you can show that you're responsible is to be here on time. Get right to the class you need to be at, always dispose of your garbage, and follow bus procedures. If something happens with a conflict with your friends, seek the closest adult to help remedy the situation. When you're in the cafeteria, be sure to follow the cafeteria expectations. Always clean up after yourself. I don't think I can mention that enough. Remain in the designated area, which means inside of the cafeteria or on the blacktop. It's not a time to walk around the school. Again, dispose of all the garbage in the garbage can. And when conflict arises, seek the closest adult. There are many adults that are, will be in the cafeteria while you're at lunch. Just reach out to one of them. 
When you're in the classroom, again, be sure to be here on time. Come prepared and ready to learn each day. Do your very best to stay on task and actively participate in, in your class. Always respect each other's property. And again, when conflict arises, seek the closest adult. To be responsible as you walk through the hallway and the stairwell, keep those electronics away and your earbuds in your pocket. You can't type on your phone and walk without walking into somebody. Also use a hall pass. Make sure you're going directly to your next class. And if you have some garbage, throw it in the closest garbage can. And I think you know this one. When conflict arises, seek the closest adult. When you're in the restroom, show that you can be responsible by disposing, disposing all of that garbage in the trash and only flushing things that belong in the toilet, which is not paper towels. Use your time appropriately. That means don't hang out in the bathroom for extra time. Get in there, do your business, always wash your hands, and then get back to class. Wait your turn. Also be sure you're using your hall pass and when conflict arises, seek that closest adult. To be responsible, with respect to technology, it is super important that you always keep your password confidential. No one else should ever know your password. Use your devices appropriately by taking care of them, by tracking your device, and reporting anything that's damaged or if you have an issue. And if conflict arises, seek the closest adult. And when you're on the bus, you can show us you're responsible by following the bus driver's instructions, the procedures, and you know it, when conflict arises, speak to the closest adult. In order to show that you know how to be safe, when you arrive or depart this school, listen carefully to the announcements. In the morning, we're gonna share important information and at the end of the day, we're going to be telling you when your bus is called. So you need to listen carefully at the end of the day to listen for where your bus is and if it's been called. Or if you're a walker or a parent pickup, to make sure that you know that it's time for you to go. Please stay seated until your bus is called while you're in your classroom and then walk safely to your bus. Show us that you know how to be safe in the cafeteria by keeping your hands and feet to yourself. Remain seated in the designated area, which again is inside the cafeteria. Listen to any announcements made by the cafeteria duty captain and always walk. To be safe in a classroom, you'll show us that you can keep your learning space clean, keep your backpacks, on the back of your chair. I know it says locker here, but we're not using lockers this year. And use your materials appropriately. In this hallway or sta stairwell, show us you're safe by respecting each other's personal space and being aware of your surroundings. And walk at all times on the right-hand side of the hallway and stairwell. In the restroom, show us you can be safe by keeping the bathroom clean, reporting unsafe environments immediately, and when conflict arises, seek the closest adult. With respect to technology, show us you know how to be safe by see something, say something. If something doesn't seem right, please be sure to say something. And if you see anything inappropriate, find the closest adult to report it. To be safe on the bus, remain seated and use an appropriate volume and language for speaking. I'm sure all of you are going to do an amazing job, but sometimes we make mistakes. And when you do, we'll work with you to make sure that you can make amends with the person that you offended. Estar a tiempo a las escuelas todos los días is muy importante that you're here every day on time. You're considered tardy if you show up any time after 7.40 in the morning. When you arrive between 7.25 and 7.40, you're going to go directly to your first class. If you arrive at or after 7.40, you're going to sign in in the main office and then go to your first class. If you arrive to school after 11 a.m., you will be marked absent for the day because you weren't here for more than half of the day. And if you're dismissed before 11 o'clock in the morning, you will also be considered absent because you weren't here at least half of the day. Do your very best to set that alarm clock, check what time your bus is picking you up, and get here on time. We have a couple of building protocols that I'd like to go over with you now. First of all, we do not have lockers this year, so please be sure to keep your backpacks with you. And everyone will be getting a Rogers Park Middle School string bag. We're super excited to see you carrying them around the building and showing off your Rogers Park pride. Cell phones are always a hot topic. Please respect your teacher's cell phone expectation in their classroom. 
You may use your cell phones in the cafeteria and out on the blacktop at lunch, but if you're asked to put it away, just comply with the teacher. There's a few things you need to know for the cafeteria. Students can sit anywhere in the cafeteria. There is not assigned seating. You can also take your food outside and eat it. If you're inside, there's no talking without a mask on. When you're done eating, please clean up after yourself. And every day, everyone will be allowed to go outside. If you find that you need to leave the cafeteria, for instance, if your teacher asks you to come up and work on a project at lunch, you must have a written pass from that teacher. And then you must sign out of the cafeteria. It's very important that we know where everybody is at all times. And the bathrooms that are used at lunch are the ones on the auditorium side. We have a very simple dress code here at Rogers Park. We expect that you'll wear vulgarity-free clothing, and that includes curse words, drug and drug paraphernalia or drug pictures, and also closed toe and heel shoes. That means no slides and no flip-flops. Our protocol is that if you're asked to change, that you simply comply. We are super excited to have you back with us in person, Rogers Park. Welcome back. Welcome to Rogers Park. Please make it a great year and do your work.